Hi everyone, it's Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to recreate a high-end floral arrangement that I saw about a week, a week and a half ago at Grange Hall. If you're interested in seeing how this turns out, keep watching. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you about my materials, okay? But first, let me tell you, and I'll insert a clip from the, the video 204 from Grange Hall, but the arrangement that I'm recreating, uh, the vessel was a marble, it was a Lazy Susan that was made out of marble, and it was $2,900, $3,000. The arrangement on the inside was $325, and it consisted of, I believe, three Echeverias, uh, three crystals, and three, or no, that was, I'm doing threes, but sand, um, and I'm sure they had potting soil, but sand, crystals, and three plants. So $2,900 plus $325 for the actual plants in the, the arrangement. There was another one that had aloes um, and it was a long elongated white vessel and it had aloes and white rocks and it was $800. So I, I will insert a clip again. So we're going to do that for much, much cheaper. A lot of folks in the comments said that the lovely arrangements, which I agreed, but way, way too pricey. And I agree with that as well. And I think one of the comments that I made was that I can recreate that for, you know, considerably less. And I think all of us probably could. But I just wanted to do a challenge, uh, actually, for myself and for you guys to show that you can put things together. You can go anywhere and get inspiration. And that's really what Grange Hall gave me. And anywhere that I go, you know, there's a lot of high-end plant shops and uh, floral, you know, you see different arrangements and you can do this. You can recreate on a budget and, and really it's not even on a budget. You can take things you already have or go to the Dollar Tree or go to Marshall's as I did in this case and got some crystals. This vessel is not $3,000. I had it uh, already. It's a Bodum serving piece and I have another one um, that's outdoors and it has two desert rose plants in it but I don't entertain really. And I've had this for years. And the other one's a little deeper than this one, but I, and I'll show you guys here before we get started, as I talk through the materials, I've drilled holes in it. So it has holes and you know, I've had this for, I wanna say 10 years and I plant in it. And I didn't have anything in it, obviously at this time. Again, the other one, is outdoors and they hold up to outdoor weather and it's it's a serving piece. So you can repurpose any vessel for cacti or succulents. You just need to give it some drainage, okay? So this I would estimate, uh, I don't know, it's been so long, it's Bodum, they're a really nice brand. I'm just gonna say 20 bucks for this, okay? And then uh, Tori and I went to Ikea a couple of days ago, Tori? A couple of days ago and I saw aloes, and that was kind of my inspiration to actually make this video. These aloes came from Ikea, and they were about $4 each. So we're, gonna, we're not gonna use Echeverias, we're gonna use aloes. So I'm doing a cross between the two arrangements that um, we saw at Grange Hall. Uh, sand, they had sand in the arrangement. That was the, the top dressing. So I already had sand on hand, this is desert sand, $6.99. So I already had two bags of this where you can see I've already used out of it. So I'm gonna use this desert sand, that's my top dressing, to match what they did at Grange Hall. And this one has a little bit in it, so I have that. And then I have some additional sand here, which is desert sand, so this one came from probably Home Depot or, or uh, Lowe's. So this is probably a $5 bag of sand, okay? Uh, this one's a little pricier at $7. It probably came from one of the private nurseries versus the big box. And then we were at Marshall's and I saw the crystals. 
that mimicked the crystals that were in the arrangement. So I picked up three. And one's a little smaller than the other. So I'll just throw this here. But here's the crystal. Tori, if you can get a close up of that, you can see here's the crystal. And these crystals were, I believe, seven nine. There you go, seven ninety nine from Marshalls. Okay, and I got three of these, so I'm gonna sit these here. So I just want you guys to see the materials, and I want to give you the prices, and then we'll kind of add this up at the end. And I'll put it, I'll put it somewhere here. Okay, so here's another one, a little bit bigger, and they only had three, and I bought all three, so I got three of these crystals for the arrangement. And here's the final crystal here, okay? So we got three of those. So let's get this beauty potted up. All right, so here's my vessel, and I'm just gonna put something over this, so, I mean, I'm already making a mess, but to make less of a mess, I'm going to cover the holes with some thin, I just open up a paper towel, you know, water will go right through that, so no worries. So I just, I'm gonna put this thin, paper towel over to cover just so I don't have soil falling through the bottom, okay? Let's get this going. I'm hoping this is deep enough. Um, should be, because I can knock some dirt off here. And I have my beat up, dirty, trusty, uh, this is where I keep my soil um, and mix soil in it. So it's beat up, it's an old trash can that probably came from Ikea. And you can see my soil here. It's a cactus mix, very grainy or fast draining. And I've put some additional perlite and grit in this. I also have some worm casting in here. So I'm gonna start with this and get it covered. And hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping it's not, it'll be deep enough. That's my only concern. The other one would have been a little bit better well, not a little bit. The other one would have been better because it's deeper. But we, we're gonna try to make this work. And this can be temporary. I mean, I just really wanna just show you guys how this can, how you can do this as well, okay? I used to make arrangements all the time. Predominantly, I would just make cactus and succulent arrangements, but in bowls and things like that. But I don't do that much anymore. So I'm gonna dump this in here. And, uh, let's see. oops, let's see what we got here. So I might have to knock some of this down. And Tori's in the, Tori's filming me today, guys, as always. So I, I've shared with Tori your comments and, and things like that. So keep leaving those for Tori. She does, uh, I do tell her about them and uh, they put a smile on her face. And Gia is also in the video. I'm sure you saw her in the intro. She has to be wherever we are. So Gia's close by. So I'm gonna mix this in. So it's gonna be a little tight, okay? But let's just, let's just get it out, see what we got working here. Okay, I'm taking some of the soil off because um, I have my soil here, but you know, we're working with what we got, right? Yeah, you guys, a lot of people apologize for their comment before they left it that, you know, lovely, but don't want to offend. You don't offend me, guys. I'm not offended. I was, I'm not. Why would I be offended? I agree. Um, I have such a large collection of cacti and succulents. I'm always on the hunt for deals. That's why you see me at Home Depot and Lowe's all the time. Good Lord. I don't, I can't pay that, don't want to pay it. So I'm very frugal. And I try to share, you know, good deals with you guys. So you can add to your collection and it be, you know, affordable. We don't want to spend an arm and a leg on plants especially if you're trying to develop or grow a collection. And why should you? If you can get them at a good price, why should you, why should you pay $4,000 for an arrangement that you can do for under $100? This is under $100. I know that without adding it up. 
Okay, so let's do this. And Tori, let me know when your arms start hurting. We can pause for the cause, okay? okay. So I'm having to read this. Okay, Gia saw something, so we had to pause for her to um, protect us, okay? So we're back, and I've uh, taken the dirt off of this one, and I'm just gonna, I'm just spreading the roots out a little bit, as you can see here, guys. And then I'm gonna put some soil. I like this positioning. Drop a comment down below and let me know what, what you think so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. I got some frayed roots in here, so we won't worry about that. You know, aloes are tough. If you've ever owned an aloe, it's like an OG succulent. And I told you guys what OG meant in my last video, I think. So go watch that if you don't know what OG means, okay? So I'm just covering the roots here. I'm gonna get that in there, get them packed in and situated. So how's your day going today, guys? What are you doing today? I'm taking it easy. Tori and I, uh -oh. Tori and I went for a walk this morning. We're starting a fitness journey together. And she's trying to get her mother to be a little bit more active, which I need to be. Although I was just doing a lot of activity and exerting in Las Vegas, which I loved. If you haven't watched my Las Vegas videos, please do. I think I did five while I was there. So be sure to check those out. So this is coming, this is looking good. I'm gonna have to get the vacuum out though. I hate potting, uh oh, I hate potting indoors, but it's too hot outside. So I'm gonna do just a little bit more soil to cover here. And so you can come in closer to get closer up shots of this so people can see. So yeah, okay, I think that's good. Got it packed in here, really nice and tight. So I will probably take this outdoors when it's time to water it because it, you know, as you saw, it has holes and there's no saucer big enough for this, right? So now I'm going to put the sand on top. And this soil has, I put a little fertilizer, slow release fertilizer in it as well. Just gonna put this in a few spots. And then I'll spread it. Spray it real nice. It's hard to turn. It's gonna have a lot of sand. But we wanna make sure we cover the dirt, right? Really good. So that's that bag. And then I'm gonna spread this. Gio wants me to hurry up. You can tell. I I sense the pressure that she's giving me. Okay, what do you guys think so far? How's this look? And I'm just making sure they're um, in there good. I might use some of this. I think it's kind of a different color though. Eh, not really, just use this too. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little darker. But we're going to make this work. Not that big of a deal. Okay. Right here. Right here. Yeah, I used to, that's what I was saying before Gia started barking. I used to do arrangements all the time. And then I kind of got away from making pots, succulent pots and things like that. But 
I really enjoy this. You can be really, really creative. Okay, let me turn this. So I can finish it. I don't want to see any dirt, right? So it's going to be full of sand. Make sure we don't see any dirt. husk there yeah these are check out if you have ikea close to you go check them out because they had a like a fresh shipment of little succulents so i was like wow i'm gonna pick up these i should have probably got a third well the arrangement at grange only had three so i think i was probably thinking that and i'll clean these up i usually take a little brush and brush the leaves off the plant and any particles i'll get that out I'm gonna use all of this because why not? Okay. It's looking really good. I just want to make sure I get to the edge. What do you think, Tori? Looks great. Okay. I'm about to finish this up, guys. There's a little root sticking out, so let me do that. There's some dirt here. I want those pieces to get out. So I need my brush, but I'll do that off camera. I just want to finish this so you guys can see. The finished product for the most part. Okay, I think I covered all the dirt. I see a little there. Cover that. Yeah. It's no marble lazy Susan, but you know, if I had the money to invest in a marble Lazy Susan, I wouldn't put itch of berries in it, to be honest. I, I really wouldn't. So here's one, and I'm just going to kind of just place it where they all have a, I'm gonna put one in the middle, I think, like that. Okay. And then this one, get this off. This is the bigger one. I might just put this one in. They got a little glue on them, which I have to get off, but I can't get this off. Yeah, this one's got some glue on it, so I'll have to work on that. But I'm gonna put this one, I think. I'm gonna put this one in the center. It's a little bit bigger, so we're gonna do this. Okay, like that. And then we'll have this one up here. Uh, I don't want it to be so symmetrical, right? So maybe like that. And then move this one over. And then we have a smaller one here. And that one can get off. So yeah, put that one. Where should this one go, Tor? Yeah, maybe, maybe that way here. or there. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna stand it up. Okay, guys, I think I'm done here. Um, there's some final touches that I need to do. I need to take my uh, little brush and clean out of the inside of the aloes. And there's some more particles that I'll get out of here. But let me know what you think. I think it turned out really, really nice. It has the very same elements as the one at Grange Hall. So I think, so if we do uh, eight times three, that's $24. Each plant, I'm gonna round up for $4. To, so that's $12. So 24 plus four is what? 24 plus, no, 24 plus 12. 24 plus 12 is what? $36. Uh, let's just say $5 for the soil. So what is that? 30, uh, I'm not good at math. I don't wanna do the math part. I'll just put it on the screen. Let me just, I will put the total 
estimated cost of doing this arrangement on the screen, okay? But what I can tell you and what we all know that it was not a $4,000 arrangement and I think it looks pretty darn good. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if you have some ideas, uh, share them in the comments below so we all can learn from them. In fact, I challenge you all to do an arrangement, you know, do a succulent or a cacti arrangement and share it with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, I love being creative. I think it's fun. And I think this was a great challenge that I gave myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already and you like these types of videos, consider subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps me out. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if it was entertaining for you or you learned something. Um, and also, if you want to do this challenge as well, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos. Also, I have a channel membership. I've been saying that a couple of videos. So you, don't, you might want to take advantage of that. I'm going to have special videos and lives and things like that for some of, uh, as perks for some of the members. So consider one of the tiers for my Cacti on White membership, channel membership. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, guys. Here is the final arrangement. I've cleaned everything up. Did a little uh, dusting of the plants and uh, made sure I had everything covered up here. And uh, I think it looks really, really, really good. And I gotta find a spot for it, but I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. All right. Two of, of my favorite things, succulents and gems and minerals. I love those things together even better. <laughs>